Well, hello, it's Vanessa here from Math Mania. I hope you've been enjoying our week of Math Mania Multiplication Blitz with our videos. And if you've had a chance to catch some of the previous ones, you know that we have already been talking about arrays this week. Um, and today we'll be looking at another real world array example using Lego. Now, just before though, I jump into the Lego exploration activity we'll be doing. I just want to do a quick review for all of our friends watching. So we just want to remind you that Multiplication is all about equal groups of. In fact, I always teach my students that the time sign actually means equal groups of. So when you think of three times five, you're thinking of that as being three equal groups of five, and then you can either draw it out or think of it mentally and figure out that the answer is 15. Now, here at Math Mania, we're huge advocates of using proper mathematical vocabulary. Um, and in fact, children love to learn new words and love to learn specific words. So we always talk to them about the numbers that you multiply are called the factors. And when you have the answer, when you multiply, that is called the product. Uh, so now that we've had a quick review, I'm here to, and happy to introduce some friends because who better than kids to help demonstrate a multiplication activity with Lego than children. So I brought my own personal child, Desmond, as well as two very special friends, and I'm sure familiar faces for you here at uh, Math Mania, Kyla and Sienna, to help me. All right, so here we've got our friends ready to help us. Um, and so what we're gonna be doing is uh, using the Lego pieces as a raise. And so what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, counting the dots from the Lego, the number down, times the number across, to help us figure out how many there are all together. Um, and normally we demonstrate our games with dice, but we're always saying, oh, well, you can use cards. So we thought today we would demonstrate with cards. So in this game, what they're going to do, this explore, and actually this is a game, is all about trying to cover, be the first person to cover your board with the Lego pieces. Now, how you get a Lego piece to use is by flipping over two cards, multiplying the number together, and then finding an array that matches. Now, if you happen to come across the part where an array doesn't match, as a group you guys decide, do you either miss your turn, or do you get to roll again, or draw two more cards? This group, I believe, has decided that if you don't find an array, you miss your turn, is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they're competitive. All right, so, okay. So we're ready to start our game. To prepare for it, we uh, have the students help us kind of organize their Lego from their raise from least to some of the greater ones. So it would be easier for them to kind of know which area to search for the different arrays. As well, we also know when we were sorting them, there aren't really any arrays that have a lot of fives in them or sevens in them or nines. So we kind of pulled out those cards uh, just to increase the chances of them actually getting cards that would match arrays that we have uh, here for our Lego pieces today. Sienna, your turn is first. Can you please draw two cards? Okay, so Sienna drew an eight times four. Sienna, can you kind of look at the Lego pieces and see if there is an eight times four? Perfect. So because that's now Sienna's piece, she gets to cover her board. And the object of this game is to be the first player to get enough arrays to fill your Lego board, or perhaps if you only have 10 minutes to play, whoever has the most, the greatest area covered at the end of the 10 minutes. Okay, so Sienna, uh, can you please tell us the multiplication sentence for eight times four um, and what the product would be? Um, eight times four equals That's okay, can I tell you one of my favorite uh, strategies for the fours? Okay, so four is double two, right? So when you times, I'm sure you know this one, when you times a number by two, you take the other number, you take the other factor and you would double it. So for example, two times five is the same as five plus five. So eight times four would be, you take the other factor, you take the eight, what's eight plus eight? So we double it once, we need to double it twice. What's 16 plus 16? 32. You got it. So the, the, the product or the answer for eight times four is 32. Isn't that a neat little trick? Yeah. That is Kyla's turn. Kyla, can you please draw two cards? And 
What did you get? What are your factors? One and two. Okay, so can you find an array, a piece of Lego to match the array of one times two? All right, and what is the product for one times two? One times two is two. Awesome, because anytime you times a number by one is always the other number or the other factor. All right, so she's put it on her board. Okay, and last but not least for round one, we've got Desmond. Desmond, can you please draw two cards? Okay, can you show us what cards or what the, your factors are working Ten with? Ten and two. Okay, so Desmond, can you please find a piece of Lego that would match an array of either 10 times two or two times 10? This. Nice, and put it on your board. And what is the product, Desmond, of 10 times two? What's the answer? 20. That's right, because whenever you times a number by two, you always take the other factor and you double it. So what's 10 plus 10, Desmond? 20. So 10 times two is? 20. Awesome, let's try another one, right? Just to help some people watching at home. What? Oh, so if we had five times two, you'd think five plus five. What's five plus five? 10. What's five times two? 10. Good. Let's try one more. Ready? Are you ready for this one? A big, it's a big one. Okay. All right. Um, what is 50 times 2? Think what's 50 plus 50. Isn't it you got it! Woo! Okay. All right, so here now you can see uh, our time is off. No one has quite filled their entire board. However, we're, uh, you can look at the different area surfaces covered on our board. And kind of looking here, oh my goodness, the way they've arranged theirs is kind of tricky to tell. But I would have to say it looks like Sienna has covered the greatest area with her arrays, so she would be the winner. But really, we all win when we use Lego to learn about math. Wouldn't you agree? Awesome. Okay, so here we are going to show you a Lego exploration activity you can do to help your child or student grasp a better understanding of arrays. Uh, we're gonna use Lego, which you might have at home or in your classroom. And what's gonna happen is they're gonna roll two dice. So here I got a two times four, and I'm looking and I'm seeing that there's a piece here that would match. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be taking a marker and I am going to be writing two times four equals and so I'm going to put my piece of Lego to match the array so two so the number of rows that go down and then four across one two three four and I know that four plus four is eight so I'll write my product there this is now a piece I get to keep you guys can decide are you doing it for you know say ten rolls each are you doing it for ten minutes however long you want to do it for but at the end of the game what's kind of fun about this is you get to take all the Lego pieces that you used and you get to build something out of it all right, so here is Desmond taking his turn. Desmond rolled a two times four. Desmond, can you find a piece of Lego that matches that array? Perfect, you got it. And can you write the equation for us? So can you write two times four? And what does that equal? How many all together? What's four plus four, Desmond? Eight. So two times four would be? Eight. Awesome, now you can put that piece beside your equation and claim it as your own. Which way, upwards or side? Well, so let, oh, that's a great question. I'm so glad you asked, Desmond. That's gonna give us an opportunity to help people at home understand, okay? So uh, we're gonna go two down. So we've got two rows, one, two rows. And we've got one, two, three, four across. So this shows two times four. Well done. matches six times one, Kyla. Right here. Okay, perfect. And now can you please, to claim it as your own, you've got to write the equation with the two factors and the product. So what would six times one equal? Nice. And so if you're doing six times one, we're going to turn it the tall, the long way or the tall way so that six rows are going down. So can you just turn your piece of Lego? There, that will represent six times one. Great job, Sarah. All right, and last but not least, it's Sienna's turn. Sienna, can you please roll your dice? Yes. Okay, three times two. Let's so Sienna, can you find a three times two array? Three times two is 
<laughs> okay, perfect. And to claim it as your own, you've got to write the equation, including the product. And can you show which way are we going to put this piece of Lego to represent 2 times 3? Okay. Fabulous. Well done. Okay, so the game is well underway. We'd probably have to continue playing for a few more turns at least so they had enough Lego to build something. And at the end, they get to create uh, some type of creation with it. Uh